Congratulations to Wesley. So, winner is the winner. There we go. Uh, so, e4, c5. I was black the first game, so you can see the black pieces. You can see my side of the analysis. So, I choose to play c5. I play in the match c6, c5, and e5. Three of the moves I was well prepared. Three hours before the match. Three hours before the match. So we have something like Grand Prix on the board now. Close Sicilian. So she starts with Close Sicilian after Knight C3 and Knight C6. You never know what will opponent continue. There are three options in this situation. You can go to the Grand Prix. You can go to the Sam variation with bishop c4 also pretty interesting connected with pushing f4 f5 i'm struggling some of my games after this and of course you can go to the classical sicilian followed by knight f3 and d4 just different move order you can go to the classical also closed sicilian right now we can call it closed but after bishop b5 not anymore knight d4 i jump in the center i saw many many games of her um where opponent just took the bishop, but by the way, this is not that great. Why? Because we have even right now more active knight comparing to the black, uh, compared to the white bishop here on b5. So trade off such a central knight for this bishop is a little bit of wasting of time. So we play one two moves, and then we wanna take the bishop. Makes no sense. Actually, the evaluation of the computer, if we follow the computer so much, what I really don't recommend. <laughs> um, we have to take the bishop in general, but later uh, I don't like the constructor of black. Otherwise, I really respect the pair of bishops. Uh, I really respect the pair of bishops, but right now there is a one two, three pieces on the board, what are already developed, and we play one, two moves with the knight. So, makes no sense, yes. <laughs> it's gonna be three times. Uh, if we don't jump to d4, um, I know very, very good lines with the bishop takes e6. Even after d6, I try d6, I try e6, I try knight f6, I try g6, I try everything on my chess classical fide uh, rating, I mean life series tournaments career so believe me 94 is one of the best there's a one very tricky move order when in some of the positions when they remove the bishop we remove back the knight to c6 and this is good for black why because they hold on the pressure the whole pressure in the center we try to not allow this position guys with the doubling pawns because this is this could be weak forever so very often white is fixing you later with followed by b3 d3 c4 even or just b3 d3 should be now followed by bishop a3 and knight a4 and this weakness on c5 uh, is forever i mean you try next after doubling the pawns to push d5 but this doesn't help just why didn't care? He closed up the position and focused all his pieces to attack the c5 weakness. Uh, so I just explain you why we have to jump to d4 because most of these lines connected with e6, d6, uh, why just capture here? We have here also this opening. Rosolimo, Moscow variation, in all this you can get double pawns, so please be precise, be, be ready for that. After d6 it's not anymore the same, because you go out with the bishop on g4. It's a little bit different. Okay, so I jump here, e6 next. Here I was wondering, I have a two, two variations what I was thinking about now i will explain you a little bit what i was thinking about before the match and during the match too maybe it's important for those of you who uh wish to take a part one day in the tournament i accept this like a tournament games uh... <laughs> go against all rules it's go against all rules but you have a central knight <laughs> Okay, so, and you keep pressure of the bishop, so this bishop is going to be kicked out into the fourth way soon, if he didn't go uh, alone. So, he, he goes alone. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, otherwise, I was planning, yes, to push a6, b5 into the fourth way. Okay, so next move for me was the e6. The, the next choice, what I have played in my tournament games, was the g6. Also, pretty good continuation. a6, the idea is to connect the knight as fast as possible, 97, 96. Also, a6, b5 is part of my plan. She hurry up to capture. Why? She, if she didn't capture, you can follow a very simple plan. I can first capture and then move the knight into the fourth way, unstoppable way, attacking the queen. So this will be wasting of time for white a little bit, because queen will be under attack. Soon you will see that I don't waste so much time one two moves for this knight, because I compensate these temples. Now he has to, she has to play two times with the knight. Uh, to capture it. If she didn't capture it, the queen will be under attack. I repeat that, that you should remove the queen again. Also, the bishop on d3 is nothing so, yeah, nothing so impressive placed on. Uh, you should waste time to remove him and push d pawn to develop this guy. Or b3, bishop b2 is nothing so special too. Believe me, uh, when you waste this time to invest this time to put the knight in the center, you make uh, you make pressure of white. You make pressure of white, and it's not that simple for white to develop. And this is the old idea to play two times at the beginning with the same knight. Yeah, some basic rules we cross, I know, but now white is into the problems how to coordinate the pieces. This is just a theory, but I try to explain you the point why we play two times with the same knight. Push d5, I was well prepared. One time she took here. Capture on d5 makes no sense, because knight takes d5, activity, and then if knight takes d4, there is some line with... Uh, actually, knight f4, there is a bishop b5 check, doesn't, doesn't uh, help in this moment. Actually, her game, if I remember correct, was uh, completely different. She was doing castling a6 but a6 is super important move against grand prix because fixing b5 oh i'm already on chest v really <laughs> wait it was from eight to <laughs> eight to nine i think so i'm not really sure okay so this was her game if i remember good morning tika taka taka tika taka taka wow such a great nickname <laughs> Now not. I will just analyze the game, so I will try to uh, explain some basic ideas in the opening part, how I think before the match and how I think during the match. Most of all in the opening part, after it was full of calculations, some of the games too. Uh, you can see the topic of the stream, actually. Mm. So I remember some of the games what I was watching. I was watching about 100 games of her. Online games coming from chess.com, mega database games, uh, select them by making a dossier, dossier, fine. So you can see uh, very easy in the opening tree what she's answering against your continuation. This is the best preparation. And of course I was turning on engine during the preparation before that. So you can follow her games, cloud, engine and also the most fresh games coming from chess.com uh, so this is my recommendation if you wish to prepare against somebody really serious and take all his uh all his um yeah continuations on uh to check the all availabilities of course she was playing really too much things so i i can say that she really surprised me into the sum of the variations I uh, cannot share so much here. Yeah. All the time uh, opponent can surprise you, I know this, but uh, the the mood of preparation giving you uh, giving you great giving you great opportunity to move your brain a little bit before the match. Uh, in the middle game, yeah, for sure, when we reach the middle game, thank you so much for the following, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, appreciate it so much. Uh, so this was the game what I remember, but it's a little bit different. So now, wait a second, bishop d3. Ah, 97, we tried to connect the knights. Thank you so much, appreciate your following, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, King's Dove. 
Hello, how are you doing? This was the game what I follow, what I want to prepare. Uh, this was part of my preparation, but she removed the bishop to d3 pretty early, so makes no sense after it to play a6. And now, uh, if you capture this pawn, there is a knight f4. Boom. Everything on the way is hanging. It's like discover attack, so we can call this discover attack. Uh, happy to see you guys, uh, so uh, early morning my time, 7 a.m., but I try to be, <laughs> I try to be connected with you. At least three times per week, last time I did it five times, it was too much, you can see that in the Sunday stream, I was super tired. <laughs> but uh, after it, yesterday I did a eight wins in a row, eight wins in a row in the three minutes time control, I invest about one hour for that. Finally, I finished that series with one one draw, one draw against two four sixty. Uh, so I'm very close to two four. So I go up. I go up. Okay. So now I try to uh, explain how was the process in this game. Uh, she removed the bishop before I push a six. This is little trick. Maybe I could push a6 and transform to the same position what I was well prepared of. Here I'm not sure my d5 is super correct. Probably not anymore knight takes d5. This trick doesn't work because I don't have a6. There is a bishop b5 in, in between move, intermediate. So I have to take with the queen. And maybe after castling I've got time for e5 because I didn't waste time for a6 now. So I have a tempo up. Next could be bishop f5, trade off more pieces and simplify. I control the center. In this variation the most dangerous is c3, broke down the center and got space for this bishop as fast as possible and work on the e-file. This didn't happen in the game because she didn't accept the pawn. <laughs> I didn't know so much what to do so I tried to transform to the same position and just push a6 to stop bishop b5 was important to me. Uh, so, she was capturing this pawn. I'm not sure this is the best decision of white, but looks like pawn up. Just I was sure that this pawn is uh, nothing so what I should worry about. It's a double pawn. Uh, maybe I didn't play correct. So now capture on d4. Yes, capture on c3 was uh, dc and develop this guy. Uh, yeah, not that great. Also bc and d4, she could take full control of the center. So capture on c3 is not really great. Mm. Bishop d6. Well, yeah, bishop d6 looks fine. I did bishop e7 with the option to move the bishop here, but probably you're all right, king's doof. Bishop d6 was, of course, slightly better because pressure on the king's side. Also, there is a queen h4. Some tactics are coming on the way. Somebody asked me about tactics. Of course, bishop d6 is much better. So if she, f we can say if she fall asleep and play something like that, we've got this tactic. It's a famous tip also. Um, double attack when this is under under attack. So open your eyes in, in such a situation. We can call on in red, not protected piece, the rook on a1, bishop on e4, and this is under potential attack. So this two, and you just connect the weak points, you know, so the connection point will be h4. You can simple, uh, fork me there. Just to inform you that different move order very often doesn't work, guys. So only one one thing is working here. If you first go there, it's not anymore the same. We can see it's double attack, I agree with you. But you give opportunity for the white. It's a waiting move. Slowly move. Despacito move. So you give time to the white to uh, protect everything. So now he covered the connection between that attacking and he also protected at the same time the bishop. Doesn't work anymore. Uh, also, there is another intermediate move. So if nothing is forced in front of you, uh, you gave chance to the opponent. So it has to be forced. Boom, and then boom, and then just take the bishop. Not giving him time to take a brief. Bishop d6 is perfect. 
I'm a Greek. Bishop e7, I wanted to come here. Bishop c7 and queen d6 is too slowly, kings go. Too slowly. I'm pulled down, so I have to hurry. But bishop d6, I like it, because potential. Um, okay, now I, I definitely don't like my pawn structure, but what about white too? There is a, some strategy how I can take back the pawn, for sure. This was my basic plan, easy, and keep pressure here forever. Keep pressure here forever. For sure I was worse here later. I, I couldn't I couldn't move so this game was like uh, I did several waiting moves so <laughs> oh wait wait prof axis nobody call me <laughs> miss boom <laughs> I never think about this before but this is cool I like it thank you so much I like it very very fresh idea <laughs> Okay, rook c5, queen d7, to be fair, I was doing several waiting moves. I told you I don't know what to do, so here's so much. Got space for the king, got space for the king. Window, 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 b3. Um, looks like she's luring around too and not that clear. Uh, <laughs> miss push, miss... Uh, you can call me Miss uh, Amazonkas, <laughs> Miss Boom, or whatever you wish, guys. Uh, miss destroying, miss destroying. <laughs> also looks cool. Uh, well, well. The thing what I can share with you is all right. I have weakness, but guys, if you cannot put enough pressure on, it, on this, because I am triple attack this one, it's all right. So if she cannot coordinate the pieces, super super correct. Um. I cannot say this is enough weakness. I mean, if you have to attack me on c6 five times, it's all right. But you don't have so so much pieces. I know this is part of like pawn structure. I hit my bishop placed on b7. He doesn't have a free space, free diagonal, nothing in front of him. He's stronger than could b7, but the next point is he's also great defender. He's also a great defender and he paralyzed these two rooks. And also the queen. So, so much heavy pieces are having some pressure of uh, maybe nowhere. So, she needs an, any minor piece to be improved somehow. But this is dark square bishop, completely different color. So, if I kill the knight with my dark square bishop, this could be my potential target. We've got uh, opposite color of bishop, so potential draw for me. So maybe this end game is not that easy for her to be won. I just hold on and trying to keep the pressure. So b3 next. I just go back, attack her, go back. <laughs> so I just stay. I just stay on one place. Sometimes tank is also not that easy, guys. She trade off. I believe she got much better, much better moves. And she can wait much more. Maybe attack the bishop like that. So she has to keep the queen somehow. I can offer trading off again. Or she can transfer the direction. And trying something like that. Completely change the direction. Going to the other side of the board could be success. But trading off the queen is giving me chance for a draw. Like happened in the first game. Long game with long pressure, but you cannot believe that I could fight for something even more in this game. Uh, okay, push. Capture, simplify. So, looks like rook b1 is a mistake of her. She has to take. I have to take. We have Nicola Stoysen. You can watch the YouTube video. What uh, log is post in the link uh, below in the chat. You can follow his channel to look at his comments too during the match. Yeah. This was her great opportunity to, to go into this position with this pass pawn. So trading off her ugly double pawn for this one c6 was a treasure. Now she can start playing for a win, maybe. Push, 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 push. A pawn, even a rook behind. Thank you so much, John. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so this is the only one way how I could play with white for a win. 
I'm not really sure if the... Yeah, I have to take here, yeah. It's a super force line. Actually, it's a super force line, so she simplified the position and finally get rid from that terrible weakness on d4 is a great success for white. Potential win. But also potential draw. Rook and game with pawn down. Super potential draw. <laughs> okay, so she didn't do that. She's, she was playing rook b3 and now after capture she discovered, open up my rook. This is a great treasure. Rook a5, hold on. Hold on the bishop. Hello, Jenny, Botto. Bishop a6, uh, how are you doing? Rook b6. Looks like, oh, I never think about this. Whoa, based on the pin. I never think about c5, to be fair. Huh. So c5 is a great continuation, maybe almost unstoppable if knight a4 doesn't work because there is a discover attack, another tip guys, discover attack. <laughs> Jenny, what about uh, you leaving? <laughs> Chess bottle? Okay, I, I go here, I go up, she, she missed to take, she has to simplify because... Uh, I don't know if she forgot that she's pawned up, but this is the very great strategy to simplify when you've got something up. Now we have availability to attack this pawn double attack. Uh, simplify, yeah, I can double here too. I mean, it's gonna be like that, but after take, this is also under attack. She keeps everything here. So I can still be even here two pawns down. Got some pressure. This bishop is also out of playing, but it's okay. It's a pass pawn. You can try to realize that. She didn't do that. She didn't wish to take my golden bishop. <laughs> Double here. Interesting endgame, I can say. Wow, there is a plus three here. Where is the, this plus three? What? Check. Rook b4. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We analyzed that immediately after the match. <laughs> oh, I can, I can make two, three wishes. <laughs> That's super cool. Bishop c2. Bishop c2. Bishop c2. Rook b4. Now bishop is almost trapped, guys. Uh oh. I mean, I'm in huge trouble here. Take, take. Bishop takes a3. Nothing. This bishop is still in trouble. I mean, I can take here, but then push. I mean, this is coming soon. Check and promote. Looks unstoppable. So rook b4 was crushing. Maybe I should go back here. Then she got a4. Wow. Trap the bishop. So she missed to trap the bishop. Grandmaster Anna Mutschuk, completely winning here after rook b4. She could take the bishop b4, but now she could simply play against him. He's pretty limited. There are two free squares and one of it actually doesn't work because of a4 after rook b4. Wow. And the next one also not so much, just king d2. It's over after rook b4. Boom! And I could resign. Now this is so much playable. Good to say that we already play on seconds in the end. Good to say that. Safuya, hello, how are you doing? So this endgame, uh, somehow I tried to hold it on. Yeah, now King C3 potential win. The only one way how you can play for a win. But I believe nobody will play here in the super tight note of 10 seconds because of check. King B3. And then there is some discover check. The problem of this discover check, it, it's okay. Uh, it, hello, dear K. Hello, hello. Happy to see you. Happy. Didn't see you long time. Uh, the problem of this discover check is... Uh, Find? Reconnect? Oh, Tika Taka! Zavaloon! Hello, 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 hello! Happy to see you guys! Happy to see you! I'm back, I'm back. No, no idea, just OBS disconnect? What's going on? Yeah. 
some disconnection. My internet is fine, but not at all. Not at all. Cable is luring around. Up, down, up, down. Somebody push it. Somebody push it before that. Now it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> um, Kevin, give you a refresh and even that fruit. It's okay now. You have to refresh, guys. <laughs> The problem of discover check was empty, empty, empty discover check. Nothing useful after it. Nothing winning after it. No, no win. I mean, it's just discover check. So she has to find that zigzag. Boom, 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 zigzag. You see that? This maneuver. It's not that easy when you've got ten or twenty seconds, guys. Believe me. So that's why she, she was blundering here and going to the this was the game she was going to a2 boom and then i just come and win the pawn into the fourth way actually now king a3 is losing this and next i go back it's like wild meal checks or i can even take this it's bad it's super bad to play king a3 that's why she push check and of course i do intermediate check to put the king into the bad square and not activate the rook immediately here or here and then I just take. And you know what? From pawn down I start feeling super super cool right now in this end game. Super cool. Um so I go behind. Now uh, I can simply announce that black is already slightly better. To be fair, I was thinking to play for a win in some moment, probably check is not the best, <laughs> but I start playing for a draw already. Game of seconds, so much pressure, could bring me her to attack the first game. That's why I show you this, how you transform from the completely lost middle game part, maybe. I mean, she, she could play 100 moves instead of simplifying. What? My camera is out of date, you should refresh. Out of sync? What? Wait. Are you sure? Let's check. You have to refresh probably. I, I was losing the connection for some seconds. Yeah. Somebody pushed the cable, I told you. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, it, uh, it's okay now, yeah. <laughs> so, Rook b6. Okay, she starts playing for a draw. I try something. No, now I, I hold on the draw. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Three times repetition, you know. Or 50 moves without touching any pawn. It's also theoretical draw. Uh, yeah, thank you guys that you follow me so precise. <laughs> Good to look at chess so much, not that me. <laughs> I'm not a model or whatever, I'm just chess player, simple chess player, simple woman grandmaster, that's it. I would be glad if you follow the channel, anyway, if you follow my YouTube too, and if you ask me 100 questions in Discord, I would be super super glad. Or if you recommend me the topic of the streams too, I'm pretty open to do something new too. So here I was wondering if I could play for something like little evaluation because her king is cut right now and I can keep c6 and I was uh, feeling uh, better why because she got the worst pawn structure but to be fair uh, yeah I have some battle upcoming on Thursday Thursday night and this week uh, the problem here is she has a hundred pushing moves here and even play like this. Uh, mm, no, maybe, yeah, the problem is her bishop is also limited, but uh, let's say she can play king g4, king f3 or rook here, just hold on and stay. And sometimes having just beautiful pawn structure like mine here is not enough to win the game. If I cannot maneuver the bishop and win d4, there is no way to improve the position. With uh, Fiddle Master, um, with Fiddle Master, I have uh, uh, Julian Juan Lando. L Lando, I'm not sure about the pronunciation. <laughs> Ju Julian or Julian, I, I I could call it 
I could call him Julian Lando for the master uh, also famous streamer uh, candidate for the for the partner but I become a partner so that's super cool I have to work super hard now and, and generate something new on the on the channel some new emoji maybe okay hurry up to go to the game number two this was game number one draw game number two let's go back here we go back back come on back five times back does it work six seven maybe fast two backs doesn't work <laughs> okay finally i'm back so i go oh, by the way in the old match it's good to share with you that just less of the games i have about uh, 75 80 most of the games we both have about 90 percent accuracy most of all her so she didn't do so much uh, blunders we can say but one of the games she blundered yes she blundered rook and one and the final uh, game she blundered a pawn and that's why uh, there is no adoption there is no adoption because she blundered the pawn in the completely equal night end game. <clears throat> I go to the allies board now. Okay, I'm a little bit slowly, you know, but uh, I'm sorry, but I cannot wake up or I hope I can analyze uh, much more games. Um, hope so it's useful for you uh, and you can study some tricks. Okay, so this is game number two. I did uh, one more draw. It was a huge surprise to start such a match against top number eight in the world and uh, make uh, two draws at the beginning and after it i did so bad maybe five or six lost in a row <laughs> so we we have a we have a here a uh, different move order going to the lapping guys with c3 why should i share with a thousand people something personal i share this with the uh, more pe uh, people close to me <laughs> Um, <clears throat> okay, so you can follow my Facebook too. You can see maybe some. Wait, I ha I think I have a picture with Wesley, so or I'm not sure. <clears throat> Chelsea Monica, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care to follow Chelsea Monica channel, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She's great streamer. So I now transfer to the Lapin. What's mean the Lapin? A Lapin means move number two. In Sicilian C3. We can call it also, by the way, in the old books, Bulgarian variation. I'm from Bulgaria. Hello Chelsea, hope so you, you got a great stream. Hope so. We can do something together again if you wish. I'm pretty open, pretty available, pretty free. <laughs> okay, knight f3, knight e6, c3, d5, e, d, d4. And now she was spending a little time about bishop b5 check and playing this uh years ago and even right now continue playing this like tournament games the problem of a lapin is pretty drawish line i took that inspiration from grandmaster sergey tivekov russian grandmaster he helps me so much he've got uh, several videos about the lapin how you can be unbeatable with white guys move number two c3 but most of the lines are pretty drawish, yes. But if you're a good player, you can outplay your opponent in the middle game part with tactic visions. I have also so sharp games coming from a Lapin. So not every time a Lapin is so boring. Some of the positions are super, super sharp. Third world countries? No, I don't have prizes because I'm super, super, super busy right now. I, I even plan to... Yeah, Tivyakov. Tivyakov number one for a Lapin. He reached uh, in that time 2700. So, uh, classical rating, guys. So, he was a huge inspiration and very good friend of me, still, uh, even right now. He's a great grandmaster. Um, he likes travel to exotic countries, uh, making 100 photos in Facebook. So, I really follow him until, until now. So, 
great great grandmaster great person Sergei Tivyakov uh, Bishop b5 check now black is having several opportunities 96 knight bd7 uh, what I'm doing knight bd7 bishop d7 bishop d7 is one of the most playable move what uh, she was using one of uh, several of her games when I prepare I prepare for everything <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit of a mistake, but I like prepare, preparing to be well prepared, giving you time advantage. Time advantage means so much. The match was of the time control 3 plus 2. You know, I'm a little bit time trouble lady, <laughs> so I try to play, I really try to play faster here. So being well opening prepared, giving me that advantage. In this variation in the Lapin, capture c5 is a very good deal because putting her into the trouble of d5 isolated pawn. So she tried to avoid that line, that's why she captured here. The move like bishop e7, I capture automatic. The move like bishop d6, I capture automatic. Right now black is wasting of time and when I capture, this is a tempo down plus isolated pawn. I really love that position, I've never changed it in my life. <laughs> So I really love that position playing against isolated pawn. Next target is trade off this guy. This guy is really important. Uh, so we can I can continue a little bit more to show you what I mean. So here the basic line is trade off this guy and got some uh, evaluation here. Fixing, please fix. That's why we maneuver the knight here, fixing the isolated pawn. D4, super important square. Or if she's coming here, we've got this famous maneuver of the bishop again, trade off the bishop. Otherwise, bishop c7, queen d6 is coming, and there is some pressure of our king side part. That's why I just explain you maybe the reason why she captured on d4. Uh, she captured because uh, trying to avoid this losing of tempo. But here I was well prepared that this capture is not correct. So check, only one move is coming, and now queen e2. I was computer preparing the, uh, until here, so let's say move 10, it's computer prep. Knight takes here, I already, uh, okay, rook c8, he, here I'm out of the prep, so move 12, move 13 has to be my move. <laughs> I play knight c3, maybe not the best. Here I already <laughs> lost my evaluation, I knew that here I'm already better. And somehow I have to keep the pressure of the bishop. The problem is castling is coming and rook e8 and because of the background checkmate I cannot accept the bishop. Bishop will be poisoned. Lo presto, hello, hello, hello. Happy to see you and happy to uh, contact with you in Discord. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I follow what you write me down, yeah. J j just very often I forgot to answer because uh, now become 100 people what I contact with, so it's become harder and harder. Maybe I need more moderators, maybe I have to hire some people. Uh, I'm thinking about this, really. <laughs> I'm thinking about this. Just I still cannot find the super correct people who I can know. I cannot hire somebody who I never know in my life. <laughs> This is the problem of uh, Twitch yeah, and Discord too. Uh, mm, let's make a 10 seconds break because we have to wake up for the school.
Okay, I'm back. Let's continue going forward. <sighs> now, um, I see your suggestions. There is a bishop d5. Um, <laughs> finally out of bed. <laughs> it's hard process in the morning. This online education, especially for the first grade, I'm not sure. Um, it's very funny when they have a physically hour, <laughs> what they're doing in front of the computer, yoga, exercises. Actually, they don't do this at school, but they did it on online. So this is the funny thing <laughs> to me. Okay, we've got a better plan. Bishop g5 still, it's nothing so special because there is a rook c6, easy protection of the knight. So now I can, I can deflect the knight. <laughs> this is another interesting position. So probably black is threatening to play rook e6. And uh, deflect. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, Julian. Happy to see you in the chat. Hello, hello, hello. Soon is coming the sub battle, guys, against Fidel Master Julian. So on Thursday night, hope so we can uh, do that on time this time. <laughs> Last time there is a little misunderstanding of the time zones. Uh, doesn't matter that I repeat to the other streamer maybe 10 times. Are you sure? Is it the correct time? Why you still don't have the people or whatever? <laughs> and the answers were uh, too late. <laughs> we arranged everything wrong. Okay, so. Ground exercises. <laughs> I don't do these. Uh, they do this from the school. <laughs> So much pressure on you? Oh, oh, you know what? On the 20 boards we won the sub battle against um, against the top streamer Eric Rossen, probably you know him, top YouTuber, top streamer and top uh, yeah, international master. So we won, I'm so proud that we won such a match. 20 boards or something like that was the match. Amazing, amazing. And we were, it was a hard preparation, hard organization, and so complicated, so much boards on it. On it. I'm in Bulgaria, yes. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> 20 was crazy, yes. I, I think I want to make a record in this sub battle. It, it was too much for me, like, uh, not that super pro streamer, but uh, it was a great opportunity because he's really famous, very good guy. I really like his approach. Uh, but let's say five boards, ten boards is, is the best. <laughs> so eight with you is fine. And I like also your way. So limit the people with categories, otherwise many people are complaining. Oh, I have 50 points up, I have 50 points down. Come on guys, yesterday for one hour I rise up my rating with 100 points. So what, what's the sense behind this? I'm not to 260, <laughs> I'm more close to 24. But very often I lost all my rating in the streams. <laughs> so I don't care about the rating so much. Just do your best, do your chess on the best level. Uh, so rating range 200 points difference I, I think it's objective I mean people with 800 or 1000 rating there is not that big difference probably <laughs> okay rook takes f6 now because rook e6 is coming there is a knight c3 rook e6 how to make castling queen f3 this is still under pressure so maybe uh, it's mission impossible this game to make castling I can still win a pawn I told you this d5 pawn is still a pretty much isolated weak pawn. I've got weakness too, but it's not under attack, so yeah. <laughs> so bishop g5 is also interesting, yes. The other good plan was a bishop d2 coming here. So if now there is a castling, uh, I can take because I already keep my back rank made, so it's pretty, pretty good. If knight e4 activity, attack my bishop, how many options we have? Knight c3, attack this. So all our idea is to keep pressure of the bishop. Now, boom, wow, counterattack. This was nice because of the mating pattern. Uh, 
because of the mating pattern we cannot uh, capture the night and now boom boom this is coming this is coming and this is coming three possibilities three good possibilities in front of white okay mm. this was nice tactic so black is pushed to play f5 what could be the continuation of white right now There we go, F3, great. I'm expecting some suggestions, yes, F3, push, there we go. Still pressure, and this will be a thing for black to play so precise. Uh, it's very hard, it's very hard. And now to find out King F7, guys, what is bringing 0 0.20 evaluation just for me? Or 0 0.40 maximum? <laughs> thank you, John, thank you, thank you, thank you for the cheering, cheers. Uh, probably it's time for the second coffee. By the way, yesterday I just ate uh, some fruits and vegetables because it's a full moon and um, mm, I ate just fruits, vegetables and some, some more tea, some more tea. Uh, in that period you can lose your weight uh, so much, this is what I heard. Actually I'm doing that every month, a uh, little diet on the full moon. You do as I do. Flag your subs. <laughs> you want to flag me? But you know, I become faster now. First of March, I start streaming this year. But I can say that at the beginning, maybe uh, I lost almost like 200 points rating or whatever. I still donate my rating during the streams because uh, it's very hard to talk, think and chat and read and write at the same time. But uh, I become better and better, so against Anna probably I didn't talk so much. I didn't talk so much during the stream. <laughs> I tried to be full focused because there is a prize fund too. It was a serious match, I told you. I take it like tournament game. I take it serious like tournament game. <laughs> so guys, we have to be uh, ready. Tomorrow training session against Fidemaster uh, Julian uh, will be. So tactic training session. Uh, how to not be flacked, maybe? <laughs> what will be our strategy? Tomorrow, secret lesson. <laughs> I grow hair and teeth on full moon. <laughs> oh, okay. Keep in touch in Discord, guys. This is the way how you can subscribe for the sub battle on, uh, on Thursday night. Of course, it's good to be sub. <laughs> you, you must be sub, sorry. <laughs> G4, push, what? G4 now? G4 now? Oh, thank you, Julian. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate your subs your subscription. But uh, I actually don't know your schedule. Uh, I never follow you. Maybe we're different time zones. <laughs> you, can, you can play on Thursday against yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Appreciate your subscription. <laughs> Are you in USA? Because we're about, you said, 9 hours difference or 10? No, 10. So you're in PDT time zone, something like that. So you have to be... She's Miss California. Something like that. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> you just write this down. Oh, I see. Uh, the California song, yeah. Uh, so, King of Seven. Very hard to find this defense, exactly. <laughs> I said, okay, I, I guess completely correct. I'm surprised of myself. Yeah, I have many students, so I know the time zones. So-so, uh, so-so, but I'm so precise to sh share California. Okay. Uh, this was the variation. What is the only one? How she could save up the game here, but it's 
why is still battery? No. There is a last chance to find such a computer move. So this was the game. Boom, 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 boom. I wasn't so precise. So just playing Knight C3 didn't give me evaluation because now castling is fine. I would repeat, this is a poisoned bishop because of boom, back rank mate. Bishop G5. Mm. I don't... King's Dove. I don't find the idea behind behind g4 to be fair <laughs> i don't find the idea behind that uh rookie eight now i go queen f3 looks like uh, having some pressure of d5 and knight she can jump to e4 right now what i didn't like so much for myself knight e4 was a nice move maybe i can take and now she cannot take because of this no because of this yeah, ju just pawn down here. So she has to do intermediate move like capture here, capture here. Uh, and take here. Am I pawn up here? No, she took back c3. Wow, so long line. Pretty equal, but so long. She just protect the knight with rook c6. A little bit safety. And I just kill the knight. Deflect. So we have a tip deflection here. Californication was filmed. <laughs> Queen takes d5, rook d6, and probably take back d d4. It's alright. I got activity on the central files. This is still under little pin and still because one rook is not anymore on the eighth rank, give me potential chance for the checkmate on the on the back rank. So bishop f6, knight d5. She said she didn't feel good after bishop f6, and I'm, I'm completely agree. But this is actually also computer evaluation. She is fine. Maybe bishop is better placed on c5, some pressure, and not really under attack. Because after bishop f6, I find out this. I was so happy that I found out such a move. No, nothing works. Again, based on the back rank, what I mean, nothing. Like, take, take, and take the knight is super wrong. We've got this. Boom. Boom the rook because of the back rank mate again. So nothing works after knight d5. I mean, knight is super protected. Anyway, she took. And bishop d8. Perfect. Black is perfect. Hold on. Get rid from the isolated pawn. So she's so... Uh, she solved her problem with the isolated pawn and now next I, I, I try to deflect the queen. I almost was sure that this is winning, but I was wrong. Boom, boom, double attack. The only one move now defending this double attack is queen e6. I found out this later. Queen e6 genius move. Okay, so I can still capture and play against this isolated pawn, knight e3. Uh, Keep some pressure, but she can step on the second rank. You're on, you know, around Nimtsovich basic rules for sure, guys. And now maybe I'm pushed, I'm provoked to trade off the rooks, otherwise, problem on the second rank. And now I can see isolated pawn, but the evaluation of black could be slightly better because bishop is more open, more having more freedom, more flexible place piece have more space in short so for a knight to go to this part of the board to the next one you need to spend about four moves and for the bishop to go to this part of the board to the next part of the board you need just one move this is the difference between this end game so why i also prefer to have black pieces here because black is more powerful place piece more uh, it's just faster going to one side of the board to the other side of the board. So attack me right, attack me left. But not so much weaknesses of white. So potential draw. We can say potential draw. So I go to f5 again trying to deflect the queen because of the back rank mate. She go to the same square. This is amazing because I'm also under back rank mated. She's also under back rank mated here and here. <laughs> This, this was funny. So I trade off. This happened in the game. And I go back here. Mm, now there's not so much rook d2 the same because I just take. Bishop a5 looks, looks much, much stronger. Because now take, I'm losing. 
because of the back rank mate. She's not anymore under mate. She've got that square. So bishop a5 was uh, maybe reaching position with the better post structure because I have to bring the king or otherwise uh, make a window somehow. Jump. I try to jump around. Bishop a5 again. Amazing move. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't see that. Probably she too. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on, Logis, you beat me twice. Should I share these games? I try to be positive. I try to give you the power. I try to show you some wins, some power, some inspiration, and some endgame technique too. Uh, many of the games finish on the endgame. So here she missed that move because of the back rank made, because of bish or knight skanking. Now I'm provoked to come back or just give a check and counter attack the rook. But she can counterattack the pawn, so now two pieces are under attack. Rook e1 gonna be pretty ugly, and she got the chance to reach c2. Amazing tricks. So boom, boom, boom. So this will be three moves with the rook, but of course in the end game you have plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, for the master uh, Julian tried to be sub and play on the Thursday against himself. Okay, this was the game. Bishop f6. I bring the king. I start feeling good here. So I know people are not that great in the end game. I've got some space here. I go to the seventh rank soon. Eighth rank. Okay. <laughs> But uh, there is no way to improve this. She, she took so much space here, you know, fifth rank reaching. And now Rook is keeping everything. So she can push one time like that and one time like that. And she really keeps everything with this Rook. I mean, there is not a single weakness of black. So again, we did a three times repetition and we make a draw. Next game. First game Sicilian, second game Alapen. Yeah, I have to click super, super fast. Okay, I have uh, five losts in a row. Five losts in a row next. I'm gonna show you the game with uh, so high accuracy. Maybe it was which game? 74, 90. Oh, here I have a 95. Yeah, here I lost. This, this was the game what I really like. And the server was going down. And I had a plus one evaluation. And... Uh, in that moment, I have a plus one evaluation, 13 seconds, I pre-move even the move, and server was down. I lost some time. Bad luck of me. <laughs> uh, she got disconnected, by the way, a little before the final game. Okay, there we go. This is uh, one of the games what I'm really uh, feeling not that great, that I lost it because of the server disconnection. Okay, so there we go. We start analyzing uh, this game where I really like the middle game part. I really like the middle game part. This time I choose Petrov. She avoid Petrov. One of the games, she, I think two of the games, maybe she pushed d4 and I didn't play so correct one of the games. After capture, capture, knight takes e5, bish, uh, d5, bishop d3, there we go, it's good to know knight d7. One of the games I play knight f6 and just step by step I become worse. We have such a position but knight is not here, so there is a huge difference when the knight is still on f3. Little, little opening tricks. So here knight f6, you can step by step become worse. Um, d5, bishop d3, so the precise good move here is knight d7. The other good move could be copy paste, uh, mirror position, bishop d6. Okay.
So uh, I like much more knight d7 in this case because trading off, trading off as fast as possible, and uh, there is a line with knight takes and bishop c5 immediately pressure on f2, which is really good. <clears throat> Yeah, too much Petrov tricks to remember. I'm a C5 player, that's why I prepare this for my students. But uh, to be fair, I, I don't know it so well. Like my name, I mean, Sicilian variations. I, I'm playing them, so I know them. Uh, there is another option here to capture on D4 to, uh, and then jump to E4. Uh, very, very close to some Gambit continuation. So queen takes d4 and now to save up the knight we have to push and passant is nothing so hard for us. We just took back with the knight. It's also playable position. French. <laughs> okay, so uh, in this game she chose to play four knights and I was so happy. I think we have two games, Petrov, two games, four knights, several games, Sicilian, several games, Karakan. The, ma the match is pretty colorful, so you can follow it in YouTube. For sure, today I cannot analyze the old games. There are 13. Uh, this is the most uh, the most playable line in four knights. Bishop e5, the best answer is bishop e4. I see it the best because not so much problems. Otherwise, I have a one loss here against number one in Germany, Elizabeth Pets, coming from knight d4. I was playing pretty simple chess, like capture, but bishop c4 is the main move, what is giving us little evaluation for white side I talk about. And here the variation is pretty, pretty sharp. Knight takes d4 is a very, very simple endgame. Now I just show you part of my preparation before the game and also during the game uh, what uh, were my thoughts. And this is pretty equal in the game. I mean, black generated a pawn chain, there we go, with the d5. And it's pretty equal position. But even in that position you can lose the game, based on the pawn structure. Next step in the end game, it's very important the pawn structure. So if I, as much as more I simplify, let's say if black trade off the queens, there is a huge chance for black to win the game. I'm gonna show you this game one day, yes, against yes, Elizabeth Pess. The only one game against uh, her and the only one lost of me. <laughs> so this is a very sim simple line where very often I reach against top players draw with white. So good strategy too. I mean, I'm using this variation for the buff colors. It's very good when you study some opening to study it with the buff colors. She was doing castling, d3. Do you know what? I try to kill the knight right now because d3, d6, the main move in the opening part here, giving choice to the white. Bishop g5, main move, but she likes to maneuver the knight too. And now we can get some positions like uh, coming from Rui Lopez too. After knight e2, knight g3, the most famous maneuver of this knight. So I didn't wish to allow this maneuver. That's why I killed the knight earlier. Because anyway, after d6, even if she continue here, <clears throat> I have to take the knight. Otherwise knight e5 and white is faster. Copy paste the opponent is not that great strategy every time. Because you're black. You cannot copy. You cannot copy completely. <laughs> White is all the time. Tempo. Move ahead. A view. So you have to take the knight anyway. I did that in the game. h3. Prevent bishop g4. Not that sure why. Because when I go there after h3, I even cannot come here because g4 and close up completely the bishop based on the pawn chain. I also stop bishop g5, it's fine. And next step is knight e8, knight e6, e6, jump back to f4, just keep the pressure, c6, queen c7, I know my strategy very well. Maybe in this case uh, I cannot use that maneuver, this maneuver is very useful when the bishop is here. So after knight e6 I just attack the bishop, I, now I'm attacking nobody. You have some deja vu feelings? <laughs> okay, okay. 
We were already in Chess TV, about one hour, showing some more games. So now knight e8, knight e6, this classical idea, attacking nobody here, probably doesn't work. So I can do a6, kick her out, provoke this maybe, next step bishop b6, next step bring the other rook to the b file, and simple draw, rook b6 trying to double link, rook a b8, could be a great, great plan for me. Because if uh, bishop a4, I'm not sure this is okay for white to put the bishop here. Knight a5, can simple trade it off. Mm, so b5. Even bishop c4. Bringing the same. Bringing the same thing. I can simple come and attack the bishop. So if she's provoked to come here, there is a c6, bishop b3. We can simply take the bishop in every single moment, but of course not hurry up to make this decision. Let's say d4, queen c7, I told you about this strategy, and black is completely fine. I, I tried to push trap the bishop by the way, so this could be super dangerous, super dangerous. We have a sub battle on Thursday, so I'll be glad if you subscribe for me and if you're being part of that sub battle. We just need eight boards. We have about three or four already make reserved. So who subscribe first for that? Um, we'll take a place in the sub battle. It's gonna be serious match against serious streamer for the master Julian. I will be glad to meet him for the first time. Okay, queen c7. This is a good strategy of black. So I forgot about a6 plan. I follow 98, 96. She took. Immediately advantage in the center. C6, kick the bishop out. Queen C7, bishop A3. Rook E8, I centralize. There we go. So time to time I tried to capture, but of course I tried to push c5 and make a make a pole chain against the bishop. C5. So this was the game c5, d5, I, I, I pretty much like my position here, I pretty much like my position here. So pawn chain against the bishop, c4, oh I could push next c4, I did it, why? Because I was worried that she could push c4 if I don't do this, got more space and fixing me, I didn't have a clear plan what to do, f5 looks like mission impossible, she's having enough pressure on f5, you know. And uh, most of all she can maneuver the knight here or she can push f4, bring the rook here. So guys, if the rook is here, doesn't mean that this is forever there, you can maneuver the pieces next, rook f1 followed by f4. So. Um, that's why I, I hurry up. Oh, appreciate so much. Thank you so much for following. C4, Bishop F1. You can watch some interesting videos in the YouTube channel. Next, uh, I go to A6. Wanted to generate a very powerful pawn structure. Push, 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 push. Bishop D7, Bishop A4. Uh, Bishop D7, Bishop A4 looks great. But my plan was to occupy that square. Greetings, greetings, Ricardo. Greetings from Bulgaria. Greetings. Don't give out our <laughs> secret. Oh, I prepare much more. I prepare much more. I mean... Yeah, I, I have this short memory where I can uh, remember many many games b little before the match or little before the game, but after it I forget. 
let's say after one week, or, well, 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 one week, no, but let's say after two, three weeks, I already don't remember what I prepared. That's why I save up my analyses and very often I repeat them. So, but little before the match, I can remember 90% of her games. If I watch, well, when I say I remember, I remember first 20 moves, you know. Uh, so I remember very well, little before. I have a short memory, but very strong sh short memory. Like if I see 100 games, I can remember 90% of them uh, for 15, 20 moves. So as much as more I'm doing that, practicing like memory for 20 moves, you don't need to remember the whole games. Makes no sense. It's very useful. But the, I don't have a long memory, so that's why I have all my files, all my pigeons, so I just repeat them. <laughs> Little before important matches. Let's see, five, take, take. You know what? I start feeling here super cool, super cool. So, because of her, I don't think so close the game is so great strategy, but she doesn't have so much good options. She's got a pair of bishops. Um, so if it's me, I prefer maybe to open up the game, knight f3 and capture here. Okay, so for sure white will try to open up. I mean, if I don't capture F4 right now, probably after any move you try to take, and after I, I capture with D pawn, there is a pushing of this pawn, or at least having a connected pass pawn to the end, you know? Not for Marathon. <laughs> Mm. So I prefer to have f4 and open up because I, I repeat, I have a pair of bishops. Look at the ideas used by other players from their positions, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so f4. You knew more in the past than you do now. <laughs> Um, okay, so knight b7, she pushed, she closed the center. We've got French pawn structure almost. <laughs> okay, knight c5, we go up. Uh, trade of this bishop, I believe it's a good deal because I have a next maneuver of the, of the other knight. I'm not sure I did great jumping here, pressure on e4. Probably it was better to move the knight here. Later I realized that, so maybe just remove the queen and going there. I'm not sure. Also, the other plan of me was pushing here. Got more space on the queen side part, and then I can get d4 square too. Uh, bishop could go to a6. So I don't trust to this attacking so much. I feel faster on the queen side part. Here I lost on time. Incredible. It's about plus one something evaluation. I lost on time. Server was down, but it's okay. Sometimes it happened. <laughs> Carlsen, Carlsen was playing uh, at the same time. Uh, this uh, skilling open. Skilling open. So I didn't get the chance to play my move. My next move, my pre move was bishop d7. I see this is second line of the engine. So, yeah. <laughs> Bishop d7. Okay, I go to the next game. I'm gonna show you two of my wins, maybe. Mm, okay, my win. Y you can see the accuracy, by the way. Not. I mean, for me, it's impressive. It's impressive. More than eighty percent. 
mini games 90%, she, she's having 97 too, she's really a great player. I'm gonna show you my win. Hello Quasher, happy to see you, happy to see you today. Let's go to win! <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the win now. There we go, I was white color. So, this time, yeah, by the way, several times I used to play London. She used to play something like Grunfeld, but most of all King's Indian, maybe 2-3 games King's Indian. So we have King's Indian on the board, I'm using that strategy, she starts using the f5 strategy, before that she was using some line with knight c6 and e5 and queen here, yeah, something like that. One time she was used to play the classical King's Indian, knight d7, e5, and again queen e8 or queen e7. And uh, this time she was using this move. This move now uh, is impressive. Knight fd7. I wasn't sure I see that before. I'm, I'm not d4 player, but uh, I have the London, London system book. What I still work on it. I try to cover the basic lines, but uh, you know, all the time opponent can surprise you on move 5, on move 6, on move 2. <laughs> so you never know, you never know what's going on. Um, so if, you're, if you've been surprised into the not aggressive way, then you're, you're, pretty, uh, you're pretty open to play bishop e2, bishop d3, knight e2, c4, c3. You have the freedom right now if there is a waiting move like that. It's not completely a waiting move, because the king's Indian idea is to push here, f5, here, g5, g4, f4, completely crush me on the king side part. That's why I just follow my plan. I think the best is counter-attack in the center anyway, so I push. Uh, also, white's plan is, of course, counter-attack on the queen side part. Um, I'm not really sure enthusiastic players, well, if you're enthusiastic players, it's not only about enthusiasm, it's also about the studying of long theory. Um, one of the games was a 20 move Sicilian opening where black is struggling, so I believe you don't wish to do that. If you wish to play something sharp, it's dragon, what is not completely correct. I can show you crushing games there too for white side. Uh, so I'm not sure uh, we have to choose such a sharp openings uh, to get the <laughs> to get so exciting games. Exciting game could be also in the middle game part. So in the beginning we can try to start solid. Of course you have a hundred gambits too. What you can choose if you wanna make uh, if you wanna make fun with chess. <laughs> but if we have to play correct chess, then we can choose London, for sure. We can choose London. Good understanding of the game. Uh, it's not only King's Indian what is existing. This only depends on the opponent's continuation. Not so much of our side. So depends on our side, I can show you also so much exciting games in London. What are finishing on move 20? What are finishing on move 25? With the crushing King's side attacking. So believe me, London is not that boring. Depends on the opponent's continuation. Here we have a quality, good grandmaster for man player with black. So you cannot say that this player is not enthusiastic. This is number 8 in the world. So, uh, position is just flexible. So you just use your brain. <laughs> not so much your uh, sacrificing feeling. <laughs> yeah, there are not so much sacrifices. Maybe you have them, but later in the middle game part. That's why we have to solve 100,000 puzzles, puzzles. Again, I'm feeling very good here. My plan is to push, 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 push. There we go. Thanks, Logis. Thanks, Logis. You've got... Uh, you were great inspiration following my preparation of one of the games against Anna. I'm not sure where you play against her. But this game was really perfect. Uh, I'm so sorry that yesterday we didn't look at the game during the lesson, but we're gonna do this, hope so, next Monday. I'm really liking the game. You're not enthusiastic player. 
<laughs> Japanese tutor, hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? Happy to see you in the chat. First seminar. Well, was it the Simo game, Logis, or it was just a game? A4. Actually, Black wished to fix B4, but he do she doesn't have A4 just because it's under my control right now. So I tried to push 100% A3, B4 is the best plan of me. So just simple A3 to finish the seminar. I don't know, but she, she... Oh, I have to show you this game, but I'm not really sure which one it is. Oh, this is a blood game. We have to look at that game. She sacrificed uh, one of the games against me on H3 and it wasn't correct. But uh, it was super hard for me to defend. So I was crushed down <laughs> in this game. So doesn't matter of the evaluation. Doesn't matter of the evaluation. Pretty nice game. Yeah. Thank you, Logis, for the great game. It was a great opening prep. He, he goes so much deeper and she sacrificed Incorrect and you just uh, missed to... Uh, your defense was much easier than mine. Just two pieces, Madurank. Cover, cover the mate. Uh, next way, offer training of the pieces and that's it. That That's all in your game. You were completely winning. Very easy defense for you. I'll show you my game with her sacrifice. She was black. I have to find the game. I think it was the other London system. So now you can see how boring was the other London system. <laughs> Soon you're gonna see how boring was. Boring, you know. G5. She pushed. I told you. Here we have both sides attacking. I pushed too. I mean, I, I try to focus here and push c5 and I can change the position of the rook and focus on the c file and d6. Don't forget about this weapon, you know. The bishop on b5. Great weapon. So, I jump here. Not really sure knight b5 was the best decision. Probably push c5, immediately pressure here and make this into the force way so was one of the best. So if she decides to close the game, then I can jump to b5 or then I can push. She can come here and then I can push. Wow, this this will be super strange game and maybe next plan of me will be reaching k7 somehow. <laughs> <coughs> this, this is cool. Or cruel, I'm not sure how to say. Computer likes more black if I close completely the position. That's why I wanted to open it up. So with knight b5, I never low d5 because then c7 is hanging. So she doesn't have so much time. <clears throat> Super pawn chain, yes, but uh, closing the position on the queen side part of the board for me is a positional mistake because she's uh, pretty open then on the king side part. And then black is much better. So don't close the queen side pawn structure or center. Don't close it with a white color because black is enough active on the other side of the board. Computer uh, show us that f4 is super great for black here. So uh, is this a poison pawn is my question. Ah, why this is so bad? C6, all right. I, uh, I mean, my bishop is already closed because of the pawn chain, so I have to remove the knight. And do you know what's next? Boom! Only one free square. Boom! Only one free square. What? What's this here? H5, queen e6 check. What's this? Just boom? Okay, if I take back the pawn, what's going to go? Just take here, so simple. Okay, there is no trap of the queen, but black is winning here. Well, look at the, this queen's position, look at the weaknesses too. This rook is open, this rook is open. I'm in trouble, I am in trouble. Yeah. Oh, plus four, f f plus five for black here almost. <laughs> Incredible. I hurry up because I want to show you her sacrifice on h3. I forgot about that. This this game was one of the most exciting ones. So, 
Wow, that, that, that's why a 4 urgent is... Uh, but this is hard to find out, guys. This is hard to find out. That uh, she can push immediately. Probably she tried to play safety. First protection of E4, what is the most logical and human thinking. And after it, push. But this preparation cost time. This time could be a fatal mistake sometimes. So I push, hurry up to push. F4 now, it's not anymore the same. Of course, I will not take here. I mean, it's well protected. CD, CD. My old counterattack is on the queen side part. This capture looks wrong. She could capture with a knight. Because, boom. So I'm provoked maybe to take the knight. <coughs> and taking the knight uh, deflect my bishop. So if I don't want to give up my bishop, it's better to not capture on F4. I still have got this move, it's fine. Time control in the battle is 5 minutes. Uh, Julian chose that, I was agree. I wanted something more than 3 minutes, guys. So 3 minutes is too less. Like last time we were struggling, most of all we lost the match based on the time trouble. I don't want to push you so much on, into the time trouble. So I wanted 3 plus 2 or, or, uh, or... Five minutes, something with increment or f five five. He said it's too long, so I was agree with five minutes time control in the sub battle on Thursday. Five minutes time control, just one game. We start from the board eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This time the match will be uh, deciding from the top boards. What will be more than two two rating players? So, <clears throat> better to not capture here and immediately step on uh, her neck here. Rook a3. There is some check around, but I wasn't sure where exactly is my initiative when I've got this knight. Aha, knight d5, simplify. Okay, simplify. I still control c file and kill the knight. So, less pieces on the board. Last chance for black to attack me too on the king side part. But this position in my in my eyes looking very dangerous. What about this capture? I mean everything is hanging here, hard to, hard to calculate. But I tried to deflect because bishop hanging, she has to take back with the with the queen. I can simply bring the next rook here, knight c4. Okay, everything is hanging here. It's so so complicated. Plus three here for white. <laughs> Plus three, almost plus three. So I didn't find out that maneuver, so that's why I just took, just took here and step with the queen. I wanted to trade off the queens. This match, this match against Anna was uh, three plus two guys, three plus two. So she took the queen, knight takes c7. I was so happy that I, one more time I'm very, very close to the end game part. <laughs> so every game my, my goal was to reach any end game. Rook b8, safety. Rook to b8 is pretty safety. It doesn't matter that my bishop is here, it's pretty good covered by the pawn f4. So she's ready to attack me. I'm not sure, somehow. She has to develop this guy maybe next here or next here. Mm, after kick the knight out, but kick the knight out, it's not easy. This knight is really annoying. I've got this check. King it shit, rook somewhere, rook maybe attacking here. It's not easy. B6, bishop b7, so she can activate the pieces too. <clears throat> but in this moment, I was shouting! She blundered the rook on a2. She blundered the rook on a2. And here she was enough fair play great grandmaster to give up. Clear rook down. Zero compensation. It's just a blunder. In a so-so... Um, yeah. Well, it's possible. I mean, rook a2 is a nature move, guys, because... Uh, I was in trouble here with these two pieces, but anyway, bishop c4 was part of my plan, was my almost pre-move next move, bishop c4, because it's a check, it's got activity, it's got space on the on the a2g8 diagonal, so yeah, 
Buffo Johnny, hello! Give me five, how are you doing? Guys, this is this is match. This is a huge pressure. The, there are 13 games in the match. It was too long and 3 plus 2 also. Uh, after every game we also analyze the game. So we lose, I can see we lose the tempo mood. Tempo mood of play, 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 play. And um, maybe because of talking we lost the concentration a little bit. So I'm sure this is based on the huge pressure uh also we are streaming all that time take this fact it's not just a match we are streaming all that time next game i want to show you so much the london with the, her sacrifice on h3 because it was a great game but i'm not sure she won the game she, it was a very good game of her very good sacrifice but not correct maybe it's this one we have to check which one is this now okay second lost Oh, oh, this is the game. Great, great, great. I found it. Very good game. One more London, one more King's Indian. I told you one time she played here, one time she played here, one time she played here. Three games in London in the match. You can follow the O match in YouTube. I just show you now the most exciting moments in the match. <clears throat> So much pressure, yeah, I was crying in the end of the match. I mean, I, I couldn't believe that I could cross three points. I, could, I couldn't I could believe that I crossed one point after the first two games, two draws. I started the match with two draws, then five losses in a row, and then I was back in the match. It was so nice. Okay, so we have one more London where she put the queen here, some pressure, some occupy e4 square, but I don't think so, it's something special. Anyway, black wasted time to play this, this, this. Now, look at that bishop. So I can try to touch the bishop here. <laughs> so rookie, several times, guys, several times, I miss, I miss to trap the bishop. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> I told you in the old match there is a huge pressure. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> so, uh, several moments I've got g4, I have no idea why I didn't do that. Actually, this sacrifice is really interesting, but I'm not sure it's so correct. Why? Because I've got bishop defender, I've got knight defender, so looks looks comfortable to me, to be fair. Um, and we can just say that... Uh, Sacrifice minor piece for two pawns. I don't find the idea behind this. Um, yeah. So we can say we can say that uh, G four is working in every single moment, guys. G four is working uh, in every single moment. So let's go back here. What? Are, let's analyze in every single moment if G four immediately after Queen D seven is working. So knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. Where is the compensation? Two pawns, opened king. But I told you I have enough defenders around, so I'm not worried about that. Could be the same game with that maneuver. I'm trying to come here. 
knight e1, trade off the bishops, or bring the bishop here, two bishops in front of my king, it has to be winning. Okay, let's analyze the second moment where I, I missed to push g, uh, g4. By the way, bishop e4, we can... Oh, we can do this in f3. Unstoppable. Uh, knight d2, no, uh, because of... First, because of bishop d3, trade off, and now she save up the bishop anyway, or... I mean, knight is completely not trapped. Knight is so much a uh, flexible piece. <clears throat> so bishop here is also not safety, uh, not a low trading of the knight and prep f3 and simple take the bishop with zero counterattack. So she has to sacrifice again, there we go. You know, knight e1, what, what about the same continuation? Looks like winning again, not that huge difference between. Actually it's the same because different move order. I didn't do that, knight d4, completely blindfold here. Didn't see g4 at all. Uh, looks like she too. I mean, she has to play maybe something like h5, trying to stop g4, save up the bishop. But now this position is so so nice of me. She has to play one more time with that queen b4, fixing the knight. And I'm playing with peace up here. I mean, knight is completely out of the game. So not really sure what she has to do. <clears throat> so even if I don't trap the bishop, I mean, this looks very good to me. <laughs> Still, this is working. I just tried to prevent knight to c2 plus attacking the bishop. And uh, instead of take the bishop, now BOOM is coming! The sacrifice on h3. This is one of the most exciting moments in the whole match to me. Uh, so, mm, looks, looks, actually looks the only one decision and so-so not completely worse like before. So, better is g4. Now if you want to sacrifice, even you cannot take back two pawns for the piece. It's completely lost. <laughs> So if knight takes, uh, again, this is, this is two times protected and bishop is still under trouble. So bishop e4, f3, boom. Completely lost. So g4, I missed such an such a easy tactic. I mean, right now, guys, if I'm asking you how to trap the bishop or how we have a tactic in front of you, for sure you're gonna find the move immediately. But if it's happening in your games, you know, it's not the same. Searching for puzzles in our games, it's not that easy. So g4, uh, b4, <laughs> instead of this push, I pushed the next one, fixing the knight, that was my main goal. Uh, so, uh, also, there is a thinking, guys, that uh, I, I think so that she will never blunder in the match. Maybe this is a wrong thing of me, uh, but it happens two times and it's uh, happened in the most important moments. So bishop g3, I wasn't so precise here. She've got amazing move here. Please try to find this move. Black is winning plus two? What? 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 She, she was winning here just in one move plus two. Amazing move. Try, try to give me suggestions in the chat, please. Wow. This is amazing move. Next one of black. So based on her sacrifice, now could be very hard for me to defend, so maybe, <clears throat> yeah, I trust to Anna maybe too much that, uh, yeah, she's a really strong player, but maybe classical chess, she gonna crush me 10-0 <laughs> or whatever, but uh, Blitz is, uh, yeah, I'm competitive player, I believe in this. Well, I have a good results in the classical chess against 2-6 players too, so, yeah. I mean, um, I beat the X World Champion Anna Oshenina. I have uh, I beat the uh, former World uh, Champion Anna um, Alexander Kostinyuk too in online blitz three plus two. So I have good results. 
I can say I have good results. Good morning, Siltar. Good morning, Benedo. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the superlatives. Queen d3 is the most the most drawish thing. Also, because of my knight was hanging, there is not a single check. I cover all these squares are under my control. So where is the queens going? There are several free squares on this side of the board. Otherwise, trading off the queens here, completely winning. Here, no more mistakes of my side. I'm super precise here. It has to be completely winning. So queen d3, queen h4. No, queen is out, yeah, queen is out of playing, so also bishop g3 could work. All that time I wanted to bring this bishop here, that's why. I mean, this is nothing now, I can simply bring the rook and really next move here, it's okay. If queen h6, it's going to be the same, I can still do this now, bishop g3. The problem is I allow her too much uh, activity. So bishop here, super bad move of me. Try to find. Please, try to find. Amazing move of black. Nobody thought about this move. Pfft. Naka. Wesley saw. Carlsen could find that move. Easy. So guys, if you are black here, I'm gonna flip the board right now. Because it's a very important moment in the game. I mean, uh, every, uh, every other move, white is better. What should be the continuation of black? How you're going to crush me here? What is the tactic behind this? Why bishop g3 is terrible? Wow, amazing, amazing. Use your imagination. Use your imagination, definitely. Please let me know what are your suggestions. 94. 94, there is a bishop g4. Uh, she, uh, good to know what she was doing in the game. 94 is a very good one, by the way, because discover the bishop. Such a logic move. I agree. I respect 94. I appreciate it. But not the best. Rook takes e2. Hmm. Okay, rook takes e2, what is giving to you? I just bring the knight closer to my king. Let's say you help me to connect the knights. Not that great, not so genius. And next knight f4, kick you out. The game is over for black. Doesn't work this sacrifice. Knight e4, she was using knight e4 in the game. Doesn't work. I mean, it's working. It's just plus one for white. <laughs> but nothing special after knight e4. If white is playing like computer. I didn't, so I lost soon, but <laughs> the, this is another point. h5, threatening h4. Okay, so there looks fresh idea, but uh, in my point, despacito, too slowly. There is a queen d3. So after h4, I can simply move away the bishop and threat again, force trading off the queens. The game is over for black. Too slowly. Thomas! Thomas, I don't know who are you. I don't know who are you, but you did a great, you did a great job. You did a great job today. Have a good day, have a good night, or for those of you who are watching the stream in the night. Look at that move, very carefully. <laughs> The game is almost over after this move. Now I'm going to analyze uh, different suggestions. Different uh, candidates moves. So if white accept the rook, just queen captures bishop. Thank you so much, Logis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. We have a new sub. This is Thomas who gave a great answer. King h1. Rook h3, king here. So please try to collect all my pieces into the force way. Force way means check, check, take, take, take everything. <laughs> Wild meal uh, tricks w w with the rook. Here we, we have plenty of options. 94 crushing, queen takes c3 enough to win the game too. Why enough? Let's count the material, we are exchange uh, down, but look at that, extra pawns on the board. Three connected cures on the king's side part. Pawn storm. 
soon. <laughs> it's coming. Knight e4 also another genius move. Discover, discover attack with the bishop. After knight takes e4, we've got a bishop takes d4. Boom. Boom. For sure, we're gonna take back any exchange. And boom, the knight too. It's too much boom right now. It's over. So much powerful attacking. If I don't cover, then my king is pretty open. So easy to realize that. We have several zigzag checks, boom, 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 getting closer. And again, we can take the knight or we can again bring the knight with that. Yeah, easy job here. Not really sure. Also, this is so much powerful. Bring the rook here. There we go. Some maneuver like that. We're just here again. <laughs> Rook e3 amazing. I never think about that move to be fair. That's why my defense was super bad. Super bad. Okay, so Rook e3 we can analyze the other continuation. Is it cap accepting the Rook the only one decision? My knight is under attack. So not really sure what to do here. Knight, so, somebody on b5, let's say this knight on b5, somebody, <laughs> then boom! So first way, uh, sacrifice one more piece, I know, we are clear rook down now, rook for three pawns, this means clear rook down. Knight e4 should be enough to win. What's the threat? Boom is coming, or actually this boom was coming after bishop e5, so king h2 is forbidden. They have to go here, check, take, take, actually we don't need to take, excuse me, you can simple mate, white. Yeah, we're gonna analyze queen e1 too. Even shell, even shell. <laughs> uh, so powerful attacking. I mean, zigzag checks. King is open, so we can do everything here. Uh, bishop, uh, bishop cover, but there is a diagonal check. That's why queen is so much powerful because there are da da diagonal checks. This is the huge power of the queen. Again, dark square is forbidden because I activate my bishop, so I have to go to h1. And one more time, we, we've got knight g3 with the boom. Simple take here. Uh, check and take here. Should be enough to win the game. So, so high evaluation here. So we're going to check Ivan's shell. Ivan shell, 95 move. Queen e1. Queen e1 you keep here, but this knight become hanging. We have this boom because of this boom. And uh, it's very ugly. Rook f2 only one move to save up the mate. But there is a queen takes g3 now. This guy is hanging. So here we just take. With uh, potential what? Potential this, this. Everything is hanging here. And if king f1. <coughs> we can do everything. Again this is winning because it's going to be continuation of fork. Uh, this is winning this too because we have an extra three pawns on the other side of the board. So fantastic, fantastic sacrifice of Anna. So great continuation because of my wrong defense. Great. Could be. Great, could be. <laughs> Push and boom. This is the key. This is the key. Push and boom. Of course, that's it. Look at that. Why do you need so much pieces, guys? If your king is open, why do you need so much pieces? Just to collect them. Great collector. <laughs> Great collector. Wherever I go, you, you've got... If I go here, queen of three. Super cool move. <laughs> if I... Actually, there's no setting up the rook. Look at that. It's very ugly position. <laughs> very ugly. Now, pieces cost zero points. Dreaming kingside attacking exactly profix axis exactly. So 
So into the blitz I can say this sacrifice is working very well. But bishop g3, terrible move of me. Probably took two, three question marks to bishop g3 if she find out rook e3. Rook e3, one more, one more time, amazing move. Okay, let's go to the rest of the game. It's also exciting at the, at the way, at the moment, how she beat at me. Bishop g4, queen h6, this is just plus one. I couldn't find the way how to protect my knights. I start feeling bad here. I couldn't coordinate my piece as well. For the moment, it looks like I play correct. FG, even right now, I took with the correct piece because this boom is coming. Somebody of you, I think Lopresto, uh, suggestion was before h5, h4. Now it's not too slowly. Now it's working very well because hard to get rid from this pin. No space for my king. So if there is a, such a move like king here, also there is a queen f4. This is something like fork. I was worried about queen f4 so much. I was worried about queen f4 so much. Very hard to save up this. It, it's still little plus for me, but uh, precise playing indeed. <laughs> and I didn't do it. <laughs> So, bishop g2, another mistake of me. What could be precise next move of white here? Okay, so give me good suggestions for white side guys because it's really not that easy. Uh, not that easy uh, to find a way how to protect this, 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 this and how to coordinate the pieces uh, into the correct way. King f2. What is doing king, king g2? I like prof axis. King g2 is the move for suggestion of white, but what's going on after rook a e8? Try to go deeper. How to get rid into that pin here? Uh, there is a pin here. There's something like pin here. So how to get rid, guys? Let's say king g2, rook a e8. What's next? Bishop g2 was wrong of my side. Atef from Egypt. Hello Atef. Happy to see you. Happy to see you. Thank you so much for the following guys. Appreciate it. Rook A2. Wow. Rook A2. D2. Whoa. 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 Guys your imagination is on the high level today. <laughs> Uh, wait, so rook e2, what about doubling? You said rook d2. Wow, you play, you start playing safety. 
<laughs> but what about this? This is coming, so definitely bad Black got some initiative here. I like Black here even much more already. So the key, uh, uh, Rook A2, we can say it's still fine, but next, uh, how to dis, you know, how to disconnect maybe black pieces somehow, or how to trade off more pieces. This is, will be the next step to win the game. All right, Knight is out of playing, but this is not everything. So maybe we have to generate something like that, another pin, but it's still not that impressive. So Rook A2 is too slowly. Knight C2 here. We can do knight c2 right now. King g2 was the best suggestion. Rook a8. And next move we can do this. We have to kick the rook out. This rook is so much annoying, paralyzing completely white. White have got the piece up, but I still don't feel that piece up. I still don't feel it. So this is the game what I'm really proud of. <laughs> like, uh, I accept the piece. What she sacrificed. Before that I could clear trap her bishop but it's only my fault that I didn't see that now bishop uh, now rook is out somewhere rook e7 maybe keep attacking this guy well simple rook b1 this is a successful way how I can get rid from the pin yes It's unnatural going back from the center, but actually the knight in the center is more in danger comparing to the knight of c2. <laughs> this, I, th this I didn't realize. And actor, actually after bishop g2, it was super bad move. Just because my now my knight is under attack and the other one also is under pin. That's why it was terrible. I left uh, completely the protection of my piece. I didn't see rook a2. I didn't see rook a2. Already in trouble here. It cost too much time to defense correct. I, I bring the other knight. Looks safety, looks better coordinating of the knights, but of course not, because losing g3 and soon it's over. Knight c5? c5? What's that move? Oh, knight c5? What? <laughs> Look at that move! Wow! Wow! Completely computer move is knight c5. Most nature is c5. Push! Because of the pin. So push is more, more natural. Ampersand, ampersand and still try to push. This is also better for black, but knight c5, wow, amazing. Because when I capture, capture, it's anyway <laughs> unstoppable, take back the piece. And also, I cannot remove the knight because of rook e2, I'm gonna die soon. Wow, knight c5 was beautiful. <laughs> I said always, uh, almost always going forward. Almost always going forward. Thank you so much, chess.com, for the chess TV time. Thank you so much, appreciated. Um, <laughs> this was the game. Okay, let's go forward to the game. Knight c5, completely computer move. Now I was struggling. Rook a2. If I find out that move, maybe I could survive because I keep here. I prevent also rook e2 because I'm available next to sacrifice my queen for the two rooks. It's Everything fine after it. Oh, and next move could be queen f2. I go here pretty early. She could simple take the queen and take on d4 or take the queen and... After I take back rook d3, triple attack, boom! Triple attack on the knight on d4, very nice. She didn't do that, but queen g4 is also enough. I lose that. Oh, such a move. It's going to plus 5 evaluation here. Who gonna find the move right now? Oh my god, so so powerful game. Maybe this is the most beautiful game in the whole match. <laughs> I'm gonna show you also very fast the final game. Most of all the end game. When I won in a completely equal end game. And let's record this video. Okay, so rook e3, blunder, three question marks to that move, why? Woo! 
So Tyre is here! The power of So Tyre is here! So Tyre, I would be glad if you take a part in the next uh, sub battle on Thursday. Please, let's crush the Fiddle Master! Thank you so much for the, those of you who already reserved the place. Because this time places are limited to the just 8 subs can take a part. And who subscribe first, he will take the place. That's it. 95, 95, I'm not sure, 96, wow, another computer move, so much computer suggestions here, guys. So if takes, there is a 95 and boom, puzzle rush, you know, puzzle rush and mate, potential mate, the back rank, wow, that, that that's really beautiful. But knight h2 is more beautiful. Enjoy. Enjoy with the knight h2 variation. Enjoy. Enjoy with the knight h2. So, this is discover attack. What is the discovering? My knight was on the way of the f file. I completely didn't see that. I was hurry up to trade off the rooks and using the weak back rank again of black. Looks like potential mate, but it's not. So, I was going to play knight h2. Attack the queen. And this is gonna be potential mate too. So after queen g5, we can see people take here. And now what? Where is the power after king h8? Plus 16, next move. Who gonna find the move for what? Plus 16 for white here. 96 96 96 Push to the end, unstoppable. I have two defenders, there's nothing around my king of course. So 96 Covering the protection v8 plus attacking the bishop Shall we count this check like a move? We can simply capture with the rook because we need the knight for the mating pattern here, here. Perfect. Posle. So, knight h2, I didn't see that move completely. But instead of her blunder, she's not... Let's say she doesn't have anywhere plus 16 in the game. Or a plus 5. I mean, enough evaluation for black guys here. Uh... Queen f4, super strange move, but actually it's not because putting so much pieces on the f file, black protects f7 at all, prevent knight h2, and this is still under pressure. Maybe black really has need the time to activate this knight to e5 or to f6, or he can start, she can start pushing a h pawn. The other suggestion of the computer was a f5, little bit hard move to find out because open up e6 weak square, but I cannot reach e6 because again rook e2 is coming to me. <laughs> um, computer show 0, 0, 0, but it's very hard. Both are having s maybe 30 seconds here or 20, I'm not sure. <laughs> Full of mistakes based on the time trouble too. That's happening to the blitz. So now from equal position, like I've got check and then knight c2, where has to be my knight on c2? So counter attack the rook plus keeping b4, okay. Looks natural. And then maybe going behind or going to the second rank attack this. Let's see if we reach more mystics. No, here I'm close to resign. Yeah, I'll resign here around. Okay, I resign here. I want to show you the final game, how I won it in a completely cool night and game. In the final game, you can see the accuracy. I've got 97.6 accuracy. She've got 95.8 accuracy 68 moves game into the 3 plus 2 time control 
Oh, yesterday I played 95 moves, dirty flagging somebody in a just three minutes time control. Just in three minutes time control. Fred Trenfield, the bridge. <laughs> A good thought process in chess? Calculations. Calculations, Logis. Read it twice. If you don't understand it first time when you read it, you know, uh, people recommend in the business technique even. One time you read the book, you don't remember everything. You just color some stuff. Second time you read the book, you start understanding something of the book. <laughs> Third time you read the same book. You start memorizing the thing already. <laughs> so this happened to me. I have to read something uh, too much to, to memorize it completely, to understand it. First time you just see it. You don't remember it. Second time you start understanding it. And third time you, you start memorizing this. If it's something important, of course, not everything. I know, I know, I just talk about how is the correct process of studying. How is the correct process of studying, studying especially the more advanced books. <laughs> you can follow in, uh, you can follow this game in Discord. I, I think I show you, oh no, I show you the win after it, the beautiful checkmate, how I checkmate. Uh, uh, but this was bullet match. After after it, I, I did a, a blitz match. Eight eight wins in a row. So for one hour, you can rise up your rating with 100 points. With the full concentration. You don't need every time to play every single game. Uh, every single day, uh, 100 games. No need. One hour full concentration. 100 of your brain to be on the board. Should be enough to rise up your rating. And rise up your level in chess. You have to be all inside of the board. Calculations? Yes, Grandmaster preparation. But it's not only about Grandmaster preparation. It's about correct calculations. So we cannot say it's only Grandmaster preparation. You should calculate also correct. Me too. But who is faster? Maybe this makes... This separate Grandmaster from the, the other uh, lower rated players. Faster calculations and correct calculations. So here you can just study the, how it's correct to calculate. But if you can use this way or not, this is your fault only. If you can follow this book or not, this is only your fault. Not just, oh teacher, I read the book, yes. Okay, did you practice this in your games? The knowledge what you read already. No. <laughs> Why? Well, I forgot what I read already. <laughs> I just read it. You, you said to me to read it. <laughs> okay. Just a second. Oh? Uh, <laughs> Nikova. Guys, I have to disappear, some delivery comes. I gotta finish the game, don't worry. Um, <laughs> some wardrobe came. Uh, so, <laughs> let's go to show you. Maybe, I, I don't expect here C4. I was preparing other lines. I think I shared this with you, H4 and Knight C3. Uh, so, let's go to some important moments. She trade off too much here. There we go. It's a Kerukan, advanced Kerukan. So before asking you something... I think I like my position here, so maybe Queenside Castling wasn't that great decision. Here, let me know what you'd like to make with black. Write me down some plan, let's work on that. Write me down some plan, what you'd like to play with black, what should be your plan.
26 Q 26 Qs wardrobe Okay, so um <laughs> uh, guys are you ready <laughs> to give suggestions? What should be the black correct plan here? Uh, looks like French post structure, but we don't have a light school bishop. So <clears throat> I need to take a brief. I'm living on the third floor. There is an elevator. What is starting from the first floor? <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay, Black Knight on d7 is really bad. Unfortunately, you cannot play f6, maybe knight b4 and rook c8 and then castling to start. Hmm, okay. Good. Lo looks good. Uh, trying to attack the d4 pawn, of course. d4 pawn is very weak in every single French pawn structure. Why I said French based on the e6, d5, e5. Center is closed completely. Hydrate, okay. Uh, coffee finish. Ah, I have water. Wow, 26 kill. Just little wood drop. Kids wood drop. <laughs> but it was uh, heavy. MDF. Some frozen pictures. <laughs> frozen the movie, I mean. <laughs> On it. Uh, it's very nice. <clears throat> so, guys, there is no way to attack d4 just because I have to bring that rook. Uh, this is uh, four times protected. I don't have so much uh, attackers. Fashion show? <laughs> <laughs> uh, almost no space where to put the things here uh, but um, yeah we try to order some stuff so the knight is coming to f5 this is gonna be dreaming position of black everything is well coordinated but the knight is here I'm agree <laughs> and there is no way to jump to f5 if it's another kind of chess only so here the correct strategy is very simple knight before didn't give us so much knight before Black can s uh, white can simply come here and I create three b four. This could be little help of white, not to the black. And this will be wasting of time. Simple castling. I don't think so. White is having something special, or white is having like light square bishop to attack us here. There is no potential sacrifice. What we can um, care so much about it. Taburich, I did a queenside castling. Yes. Yes, anyway about the knight, but I think it's urgent to make a uh, queen set. Uh, I, I think it's urgent to save up the king. I don't know why I go to the queen set castle, uh, just to make the game sharper. And maybe my thought was like tab reach almost. Actually, I wanted to push g pawn. So push, push, deflect this guy and work on the d4 weakness somehow. Uh, also, after queen set castling, I wanted to move my king here and both rooks here. But I can do this here much better with king side castling. Don't forget about that b2 maybe is hanging some of the situations. Not right now because of simple rook b1 and when rook step on my neck, 7th rank is bye bye. So, yeah, I just explained about the b2 pawn, okay. <laughs> uh, also, rook fb1, queen looks trapped, exactly, not only looks, but there is a knight b4 counterattack and I just lose the knight because he kept the queen, she kept the queen, me, me not. So, rook fb1, even in this case, rook cb1 is trapping the queen, exactly, but there is a queen a3, no, we keep the queen. Rook fb1, I'm not sure how powerful it is, I like much more this rook here. Boom! What is the difference actually? Rook C B1, not that great. What about this? It's not okay now. Uh huh. Because the other rook uh, was having pressure of the knight on C6, and this rook no pressure. 
So now Rook is uh, almost trapped. Look at that. Huge difference, by the way, right now, if you choose this Rook or this Rook. Rook AB1 winning, Rook CB1 losing. So huge difference between. Try to coordinate better both Rooks. I mean, capture here makes no sense. Now Queen will be trapped because losing the A3 square. Bye-bye, Queen. Bye-bye. So you control the both files, that's why A2 was more poison than B2. <clears throat> and if I remove the queen after capture, I repeat that this rook is keeping pressure of c6. That's why now knight b6 doesn't work, because boom. Huge difference. Let's forget about b2. Most of the cases such a pawn is a poison pawn. So... I can say that here the best strategy of black, what is a very famous, we can try to occupy the weak square like that, or we can simply try to double the rooks like that. So if white is trying to double, also we've got b4, now knight b4 is also strong, followed by rook c6 and again double the, double the rooks, let's don't care about every single piece to be a super well placed. One piece could be bad place, but this piece is also holding on important squares and also the center. Sometimes we've got f6 later. Sometimes just knight f8 is a super great defender around the king side. So you need guys also defenders and good attackers. Not all the pieces could be super well placed. So you have enough good places, uh, enough good placed pieces. Bishop super cool placed, knight super cool placed, open file. Queen is more active comparing to the to the to the white one, and also we have a better pole structure based on the d4 weakness. So next strategy could be also push. It's a very famous to the French push a5 a4 security push here or simply leave the pawn here will make forever b2 weak. And after a knight a5 knight c4 also great idea of black or a5. After a5, we have availability to bring the queen to a6 too. <laughs> draw. No, I have to build it, you know, the, the, it's coming a huge package of 26, 27 kilos and I have to build it after it. There, there's so much constructors inside, I mean, <laughs> I have to connect them somehow. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. So, um, bishop d2, I like much more this plan with a5, a4, a so actually I won the match based on the French pawn structure. <laughs> okay, let's go. This was my suggestion. This was my continuation. Queen set castling. It's n I don't like this because I'm under potential attack on the queen side. Uh, like happened in the game almost, by the way. She was doing bishop d2, bishop c3. I'm not pretty sure that she improved the correct piece, uh, uh, the correct piece on the board. <laughs> I'm not sure. Both knights now are out of playing, so she has to work on the both knights improving and the both rooks improving and the push, 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 all her pawns on the queen side part, completely. So automatic I could play a3 and b4, b5 or rook fc1 or double the rooks next, holding on the b4 square. Carol the knight f8 uh, to g6, but this gonna wait. G6 is under a little bit control of white because of that knight. I'm not pretty sure. Yeah. You can step on, uh, you can use this plan because knight's to control g g6. 
I don't like g5 because you load that and then huge weakness on f6 and g7. So push g5 is not that great. I can push g5. The only one exception should be if I can uh, push next g4, deflect the knight on f3 and work on the d4 weakness. I wanted to trade off the bishop for some point and then uh, work on the backward pawn on c3 or then just occupy the c4 square. She took intermediate capture. I repeat why I did that because I was worried about if she captures uh, capture and I was worried about this move. Maybe I'm not alright. I see I'm not alright. <gasps> Such a move. Yeah, back rank mate. Oh, back rank mate. So I can simply boom b2. I can simply boom b2. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> this was nice. There is a back rank made, that's why uh, this idea with the queen h7 doesn't work. I was worried about that, that's why I left the open file. That's why I did an intermediate capture on c1. b3, she tried to stop knight c4, so I'm ready to bring the knight back, even the queen back and knight here. <laughs> g6. Maybe now was the way to push g5? g5? Outplaying this knight? It's okay that I give up f6. My king is not anymore in danger. Next queen a5 or queen a3, some pressure of a2 and bring the knight here. I repeat, this knight is not a good place, but what about her knight? What about the other knight? Out of, in the end of the board, out of playing the knight on f3. So no, uh, now I'm not the only one who is having a bad place knight on d7. I wanted to generate a good structure on the... Enough solid structure on the kingside part. And working more... Transfer all my pieces to the queenside part. But maybe this is not that great. Knight d8, solid defense, take, take. And I repeat, I said this immediately after the game analyzes the last game, that if I'm white, I will not trade off the queens. Queen f4 doesn't exist. I'm agree that I have some threats here. But what about queen f3? Just I want to have pressure here, move away the king, avoid that. Maybe I can go behind, and that's why computer recommend this check. Wow, such a tricky check. Not trading off the queens, but such a tricky check. There is no covering on the way. So I have to move the king. Next, maybe move the king, prevent one more time this check, and maybe white is ready to come to me, to eat me. Yeah, this looks fresh to me. This looks the only one way how white could fight for a win. She has to win this final game. If she didn't uh, win that final game, the match... If, the, if this game finished draw, it could be super interesting match. It could be the final result 10-3. And we have the arrangement before. Uh, assuming if she reached 10 points, before I reached 3 points, then she won the match. Or if I reached 3 points, before she reached 10 points... Uh, I won the match, but what's going on if the match is 10-3? We never think about such a result because it's almost impossible. But here it was possible because this endgame is pretty drawish. Or at least white is playing with the draw in the pocket. So that's why I'm super surprised that she, she, lost, she lost such an endgame. White is much better here, dominate completely. Especially after queen c1, she hold on the all, all important squares. My knight is very, very tough player. Very, very tough placed. After queen c1, king b8, look at that too. If until now you thought that my knight on d7 is out of playing, very bad placed, what about also now the knight on d8? So that means space. Queen control here, queen control here, queen control here, knight. Crossing the fifth rank plus having huge pressure here and flexibility on h7 coming to f6 in some moment after queen is coming to f4 is also attacking our f7. Also, the knight on e2 is having plenty of squares, at least three free squares in front of him. 
And the only one weakness of white is D4 pawn. What is not really under under so much attacking. So trading of the quiz, I was happy to go to any end game, uh, any night end game. Of course, my tough placed piece has to be improved, urgent, attacking d4. And now this knight, hold on the other knight. So I have to think about other knight. Push. Activate other knight. So just game of maneuvering. Move number 34. She did a terrible blunder. There we go. Terrible blunder. Knight b1. What I want now? I want a simple fork. There we go. I want a simple fork. What will be the protection of you guys if you are white here? What could be a correct defense of white? to stop knight f5 simple fork but we've got both 20 or 10 seconds it was a huge pressure of her for me it was something regular i'm doing like that i'm i'm side note player <laughs> i'm bullet player bully player but uh, what what about her she, probably she she would like to play with more time and she needs more time 92 simple defense okay 92 King F4 was the best. Why? You want to come inside. Later, the maneuvers of the knights, we don't need to, to think about how complicated it is, but there is a huge weakness on F7 and this is, this is a huge target. This is a huge target to the white. Then before is also interesting attacking, but I can simply push and attack the knight and push attack the other knight. So makes no sense. You have to keep the pawn followed by knight e2. You have to keep the pawn pawn uh, followed by uh, pawn 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 <laughs> king f4 or just simple g4 too. I like g4. I shared this move with her immediately after the match. Yeah. Well, that's pity because she blundered in a completely equal end game. Ali Hangen today, wow! <laughs> oh, Etiusin, so happy to hear that! Thank you so much. I, I, I'm very, I'm very glad. Really, I'm very glad. I think I inspire some people even to start playing chess. I inspire some people who are boring of chess and for some people who are very very close to stop with chess uh, but uh, it's good to see the beautiful part in the game many people don't understand this because they're beginners or they're intermediate levels or they're struggling to stay on one level all his life like one five one six all his life they never had a coach they never wish to uh, improve or they're only playing this is the most uh, common mistake. They are only playing. They wish so hard to improve their game just by playing. Mission impossible to improve your game only by playing. It's all hard working behind this playing. All hard working. Okay, so very disappointed she, she blundered. It's good to look at next just how uh, I realized that pawn up. So let's go. Pawn up in night end game. I'm gonna show you my game. <laughs> Completely equal. Similar end game, but even with less pieces on the board, uh, how I want it. Against the 11 times champions of my country, woman grandmaster. <laughs> so I can say that uh, I'm little, little, little uh, end game monster. <laughs> Q4 
Miss Boom is endgame monster. We have to trade off this. We have to broke down this to go up with the king. Doesn't matter this way or doesn't matter this way. Just support the pass pawn. We need the king. King is the most important piece in every single endgame. I'm not worried about knight d7 check. Just because king is coming to e7. Or even after this I'm not losing at all the pawn because boom, 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 boom. Completely winning endgame. Pawn endgame, pawn up. Easy job. Plus 60. <laughs> Evaluation plus 60. Just plus 60. Okay, you can take a part in my daily chess correspondence games if you're interested. We have some matches in my fan club, so just join the club. It's very easy step and you can take a part in some daily correspondence chess too. And also you, out of that you can ask me questions. Maybe next Tuesday if uh, some matches started in the daily chess, I can analyze some positions uh, out of there from the subs in the chat. So. Please be active there too. I can pay attention personality to, to your games. In, in general, Tuesday, I spend Tuesday for playing or analyzing some sub battle or um, analyzing some games of you or analyzing some top world games too. I'm doing different stuff on Tuesday. Wednesday is tactic night and Thursday, if we don't have plan, we, we can make arena. Otherwise sub battle, otherwise hand brained, different program. And sometimes additional stream on Saturday and Sunday. So urgent to broke down the structure, the other opportunity is G5, but in this case doesn't work because E6 is under pressure. <laughs> okay, so check, King E3. I've got I need a space, so check check. I was struggling how to avoid this O check, so I was attacking this, and then I come back. Actually, it's very unpleasant when I go every time when I go up. She's having this check. <laughs> so finally, I found a great plan. I'll share with you why I don't want to go there. Just because I'm going to lose G5, and now it's very complicated if I'm faster than her. I'm not really sure because she can bring here the knight and sacrifice it. Look at that. Push. Check. She can sacrifice it and next I have to count uh, if I'm uh, coming on time to stop the pawn. Actually, I generate a barrier. We can call this barrier for against the white king cannot cross the fourth rank. So, but okay, it's complicated. Yeah, we can limit the knight and if knight c1, we can now come here, here and now knight is trapped. We have time probably to take him and to stab the pawn at the same time and just push. Another way how we could win. Or let's look at if she sacrificed how this game is winning. Uh, King k4 push, probably push. But then again we have plenty of time to stab this pawn just by 97. And this is too slowly, you know. This is too slowly. We push. Check. Here. We can even push because this is uh, the only one way when this is a theoretical draw is if we've got f7 pawn or h7 pawn. Bishop pawn or rook pawn is theoretical draw based on the stalemate picture when white is going to the corner. Now, taking the fact of uh, zigzag way, zigzag way, there we go. We come closer to the pawn and there is no stalemate at the moment when white king is going in front. Uh, we can uh, go one step with the king getting closer, closer, closer and win the game. Easy job. The, the, these were my worries. So uh, when you've got 8, 5, uh, 10 seconds, when you see your time is going down, uh, no time to take a risk to come here. These were all my worries. So. I felt perfect. I found the first line of engine how to maneuver my knight. I'm impressed with my skills here. So knight here is a much stronger barrier. Generate a much stronger barrier. Look at that. White king cannot anymore cross oh, oh, almost all the fourth rank. Incredible. 
And also, the most important thing, I keep G5. I can close my eyes and win the game. Next step here and boom. And boom. Beautiful. Beautiful situation here. Thank you so much for following. Appreciate it. Next push. B3 is in my pocket so I can play safety to the end. I'm not sure I was precise in the end here, but actually it doesn't matter. Two, two, two pass pawns, the game is over. It's not just blitz. In the end of the game you have seconds. It's not just blitz. We can call this bullet. We can call this bullet style. It's not just blitz. Made in 22 already. <laughs> Made in 22. Okay, we go up. By the way, there is a stalemate picture right now. So if this knight is not on the board, the game finished draw because it's white's turn. But there is no way to sacrifice this knight at all because we just push, promote, the game is over. I make her a free space and I go to the next pawn because I was hungry. Okay, the game is over. I won the match. Or we could say, I, I didn't win the match, but I avoid adoption. Okay, let's say I avoid adoption. And this match finished 9th and half for her against 3 and half for me. I'm very, very proud of that result.